Welcome to the weekly video podcast for the PBS series E Squared. This exclusive online program will take you beyond the episode you just watched and deeper into the world of sustainable design. I saw architectural education moving away progressively from the master builder tradition, becoming more virtual architecture, more computer-based learning, and less hands-on learning. And I thought that what went with the change in media was a loss of content. It's always been about making things. And then architecture, at the end of the day, is a social art. It's about community. So I wanted to just have a little one-room schoolhouse here. Brian came over to our school and they introduced these uh, studios in our school called Free Labs. And faculty could basically suggest anything they sort of want to do. And they had two weeks in the summer to do it. And Brian came in and made his pitch about making a ghost of, a, of an old building that used to be on his land. So I signed up. Over 20 years, I would come over the hill with my chainsaw and my dog behind my shoulder here, and in a winter day, with a bottle of beer, sit on a stump, look down as I was clearing the land. And I cleared all of this valley uh, with my own hands. And when I felt I knew the place well enough, we started making temporary projects. And then uh, got more confident, began to see the ghost emerge as a more permanent institution developed dormitories, this new studio that we're in now, to gently transition into a so-called permanent institution. The Ghost Lab is really important because it provides us a venue to have a forum, for one thing, about these issues of cultural sustainability and cultural architecture and cultural landscapes. And what results are these structures or these buildings that we, that we make that have a critical essay on how we do things? And it's also a, a crash course in you know, timber construction for students that we're very interested in because it's where we practice a lot of our architectures here. It was a very modest beginning. Uh, just nine students just said, let's get the hell out of the school for the summer. Live in tents. And they go, well, this could be sustainable. Sustainability, I think, applies to institutions, cultural things, too, right? So it just kind of grew, and there's a yearning, I think, for people getting their hands on stuff again. So it's very timely, you know? Uh, so it just seems to have a life of its own, and it just has turned into something. And it's truly sustainable. It's a yearly event that we get to go and revisit these issues. So it's a real testing ground for a lot of technologies that we use. Plus, but it's also a forum to get a lot of smart, leading-edge people in the world to come to this one place and uh, actually talk about these issues that we're talking about right now and what is meaningful, what is sustainable, what is, you know, and it's sort of a, it is a school that way. Architects need to remember some first-hand knowledge to make good designers. So when you draw something on paper, you understand the implications in the field of what you do. One day we had a, the two towers and we had a 200 foot long string level. We're trying to argue and you know, like 20 architects arguing about what was level. And the builder comes over the hill and he starts laughing. And he said, you're looking at the best level, the horizon. The ocean horizon is the, the best level and you got a string that's sagging four feet and all you have to do is stand where I'm standing, you can see exactly where level is. So you know, you all feel really dumb, which is good, right? A little bit humbled. So it's good. it's good education. Good education for me, frankly. I do it because I learned a lot. But how do you drive a nail into a piece of wood without splitting the board? You know? It's amazing. You take these, these people with, you know, PhDs and you, and you get them doing that and they, they want to do it all day long. You know? Like it, they really value learning what seems like trivial stuff, but it's not trivial. For more information about E Squared, visit our website at pbs.org. 
Thank you for watching this weekly podcast from the E-Squared Design Series. We're proud to bring you these stories about the architects, designers, and engineers who are using technology to help create a more sustainable world.